is to open up a store and help people get prepared so I'm looking to move in the next couple months. As a result of the lifestyle I have chosen to live, I have just been evicted from my home. I was told by a roommate, pause Bill, that when martial law is declared, they're going to come to the house looking for me because I am a liability to the home. According to the landlord, they saw me on the news and they think I'm with the black block. They think I'm trying to start a riot. I have been asked to leave my home. I will not have a home in two and a half weeks. So remember, when you see me get angry, when you see me get upset, it's because I feel that you're not trying to help, that you're just watching the show and you're taking this show, this facility, my message, the fact that I'm putting my life on the line for granted. And I'm asking you to not take me for granted and I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for your help. I'm asking you to not just watch the show but to email me call me after the show, call my cell phone number, get involved, help me find a space so we can open up this new community space where people can, can come together as a community and heal from the wounds that our community clearly needs to heal. And the fact of the matter is, um, people are open now to a lot of speakers coming into town and information. There are even some police that were taking my flyers saying, when's your show on? When can I watch it? This is happening, folks. There are police accepting the flyers going, look, I'm interested in learning more about martial law. Where can I find out more about it? Not a lot, but a few. So you can't run around with an attitude thinking that we have to fight people because they're in uniform. Cops, look, women get raped. There are killers on loose in this city. You just want total anarchy and let everything melt down? We need good cops to be out there watching our back to protect us, to protect and serve, not be a predator, to pull us over, give us tickets. Uh, we're going to talk about, about red light cameras in a little bit. But I mean, the fact of the matter is, we need to fix the problem with the Portland police, not call for an all out war with the Portland police. We have to flush our system, our Portland police unit of all the bad cop killers that act like gang bangers and get rid of them and potentially even incarcerate them. I am all for locking up Kyle Nice. I am all for calling for prison sentences for many of the Portland police officers. I am not for calling for indiscriminate property damage and full-on anarchy. Go back to the clip. So, how long have you been out here? How many years? This is me talking to a senior citizen who's home. Too many? Do you retire? Pardon? Retire? Yeah. From what? I was a uh, caregiver. Caregiver? Yeah, it's, um, hang on a second. It is... Let's see. Well, things certainly have changed in the last couple of decades. Well, they have, indeed. I think uh, family values are very important. There's less people that are talking to one another as human beings. What do you think about the uh, economy that the younger generation is about to inherit? Well, it's awful. I'm sorry, I really have to go though. Well, take care. All right, pause. Uh, go ahead and eject the uh, DVD. We're going to play the DV cam tape in just a little bit. Uh, we're going to leave tonight's show with a little bit of laughter to heal from all this violence and calls for violence. We're going to try to um, create a little bit of uh, laughter. Uh, laughter, it's good to laugh. It's good to smile. It's good to smell the flowers. It's good to be engaged in nature. I don't just think about conspiracies. I spend my time meditating where I can in nature. I love to be in nature. I'm praying more. Uh, I believe I've protected by a, a higher force that's protecting me from harm. And I believe that's why I haven't received any death threats. I haven't broken a bone uh, and, and I've never been attacked on any level. And I think that I'm gonna survive the things to come in the future. Whatever comes in 2012, I believe I'm gonna be a leader in the post-crash American nightmare. And that's my goal in life. And uh, honestly, uh, people ask me if I ever do anything outside of the show. I came out of the womb to do what I'm doing before you. But that doesn't mean that I don't uh, want to maybe one day have a wife and have a child. Um, while I continue to do what I do in Portland, most women don't want to date me or have anything to do with me because what I do is frightening. It, it rocks the boat. I'm not a stupid drunk jock that likes to watch the UFC at the bar. That's why when I talk about what I do when I go out and I give people my card, they literally actually throw it back in my face and tell me no politics or religion as if I said uh, the most blasphemous thing uh, in history. And so it hurts. 
People definitely go out of their way to put me down because I'm very vocal and because I'm trying to change this reality into something more positive because a lot of people resist change. They resist people that have a different perspective, a different belief system. And a lot of people plug their ears and go, ah la la la, ah la la la, ah la la la. Some of you can emphasize with that, ah la la la, ah la 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 because they don't want any new information to come in that's gonna change their particular perspective on why things are the way that they are. But I have made the decision that when I turn 33 in 2013, ironically, that's the year I wanna bring a child into this world because I wanna give this, that, that child, when I find the right woman, uh, everything that I was not given as a child, and I won't abuse that child the way I was abused physically and mentally. Uh, I want to teach that child to be a leader to be a protector, whether I have a daughter or a son. And I know a lot of you think that uh, no one should be having any babies anymore, but if you look at those having children today and those not having children, it seems that the intelligent ones uh, aren't having the children, the people that don't have any common sense, that drink all the time. I'm not talking about everybody, but you know what I'm getting at here. They seem to have five to 10 to 15. I visualize one man, one woman, one child as the perfect family unit, and hopefully, God willing, that day will manifest at some time. Let's go ahead and go to graphic number 40. Portland commits $7 million to red light cameras, KGW. Portland commits $7 million to red light cameras. Bill, document cam number three. Bill, three, camera three. Thank you. Camera three, there we go. Because I want to be able to document these for the audience because most people won't believe it until they see it. They'll just call me a liar. They'll call me a deceiver. They'll call me a anti-American person. So here we have here. Let's go to the next one. Trimit to beef up security on Portland Max trains and buses. That's what we have there. Here we have another one. Secret Service put stop to radio station stunt. Apparently on KOFO the other day, we have this uh, in the graphic machine. Uh, and uh, we can go ahead and bring that up. But uh, apparently they were talking about how to uh, uh, counterfeit currency on the air, which was really, really stupid. But there's a lot of really, really, really stupid DJs on KUFO. But apparently that's what the people want to hear. But if you want to hear something more intelligent, hey, if you like Clyde Lewis's show on Sunday, hey, if you'd like to hear me on KUFO, you can use your voice as your weapon of choice. This is a call to action for the audience of Outside the Box to join me in this peaceful revolution of consciousness, sending out emails to radio stations, sending emails to KATU and ask them why they're not covering the whole story. That goes for Fox News. Fox News, by the way, though, did quote me for 15 seconds when I said there's a right way and a wrong way to go about affecting change. And I don't think we played that clip last week, but uh, we may play that clip in the future. Um, briefly, there's a lot of cases about uh, pertaining to um, Children being raped live on the internet in the Northwest. There's this huge child sex ring that's been exposed in Portland, Oregon. And we are looking at that at this time. Bill, camera number three. Thank you. And let's go ahead and bring that up on the document cam. Because the people need to see this. And so we do need a certain level of authority and law so we can protect our children. In the future, when the economy melts down, when foreign troops are here, Women will be abducted and raped unless there are men to protect them. I've been saying that for three years. I see it in my dreams. I see uh, many things coming to pass, and I'm seeing them pass in real time. And I, it's, it's, it, it's a basic fact of life that when society breaks down, women are usually attacked and they're traded as property. And so I'm asking the women in the audience to understand that although this information is fearful, although it makes you feel emotionally a certain way, we have to grow up and face our fears, face those emotional feelings, grow up, grow a pair if you're a male, and actually stand up for your tribe, stand up for your children, stand up for your women, stand up for your fellow man. And let's go ahead and go up to this one. Architect charged in major child porn case. Um, you guys have that graphic there, and I want you to bring it up because I want the audience to see his face. I want the audience to see the face of a rapist. So go to the other graphic that dealt with the man that was trading child porn, and we should have a full blown up pic, but folks, whether it's Kyle Nice or this guy, the eyes, Chico, <laughs> to quote uh, Al Pacino from Scarface, the eyes, Chico, they never lie. The eyes are the windows to the soul. And so you can literally, if you know how to adjust your eyes correctly, you can see the demons uh, 
in the bodies of these human beings. And I believe that we are in a planet with a lot of interdimensional activity. And how far you want to take that is all up to how open your 